everyone, Agent Fluffy here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy, Justice for All, Farewell, My Turnabout, Part 5. Now I got water with ice, make sure I drink it, and of course, let's go continue. March 21st, Skatewater Hotel, Viola Hall. Looks like the investigation is still in full swing. The hotel staff and the police are running around like a bunch of headless chickens. I wonder if we can do any investigating for our own in this kind of atmosphere. Well, gotta roll up the sleeves and try, I guess. Well, let's examine. <clears throat> we ate this table last night, didn't we? Yes. I was really happy then. I wish I could make you smile again, even for a second. God, this lobster. This lobster is very phallic shaped. Like, god damn. But it, it, it's fine. This sure is one luxurious hotel. Almost to the point of gaudy with how it blends together with everything fancy imaginable. Speaking of fancy, didn't that bellboy give me something like that last year? The award ceremony when- oh, can I speak? The award ceremony was held on that stage just last night. It was really fabulous. Just reminded me of the circus for a second. No, Pearl, do not remind me of that god-awful case. I wonder if everyone is alright. I heard that very big circus just recently started holding performances again. I'm sure they're all fine pearls. There is a grand set of doors over there. His doors might have followed the bellboy out of, only to disappear. Only yet we had all gone together. Oh, excuse me. That. Excuse me. Let's go the hallway. Uh, uh, oh, excuse me. I had some gumbo. March 21st, Gatewater Hotel, hallway. Hey, you're here! And waiting for you, Mr. Lawyer. Lotta. Hey, Mr. Copfella, face show his face. W w w what? Arrest him! Put him on trial! Find him guilty! Give him the death penalty! Well, what's wrong, Lotta? Are you feeling all right? Look here and there up and down the mountain, but it ain't here. So why don't you hurry up and give it back to me, you creep? Uh, what are you looking for? My camera! C-A-M-E-R-A! -E it's my lifeblood! I'm gonna die without my $700 camera! Your camera? Look, no lots of people say the criminal always goes back to the scene of the crime. And looky lucky, here you are. Yeah, here I am. Faced with a lot of trouble. Huh? So you lost your camera? It ain't no ordinary camera. You buy it in the store and it's $1,600 brand new. Huh? But didn't you just say you bought it for $700? I had a nice long talk with the guy at the store. About five hours, I reckon. I made this itty bitty scratch on it and the manager got all huffed up in the face. He gave me his talking to and was real mean about it too. He don't make me cry like that. When did you lose your camera? Last night, after the murder happened. Must have been when I was busy running around looking into things. That's when I lost out of my dear darling expensive sweetie. Lotta, what did you capture with that expensive camera of yours? I don't really know. I snapped a shot of anything that caught my eye. So I don't remember. And besides, I couldn't get anything from my big scoop. I wonder if Lotta's missing camera is even connected to the murder. Okay, Lotta's camera added to the court record. Very expensive item valued at $1,600. It was stolen around the time of the murder. Lotta, please tell me what you know about what happened at the time of the murder. 
Well, from before the ceremony last night, I was hanging around here in this area. Yeah, actually, I was here until around the time Mr. On Guard was arrested. What were you doing here? You sure you went to school, city boy? Whenever a lot of heart goes, there's a story to be found. A big scoop to be had. A big scoop? I told you before, I'm gonna be the best tabloid photographer the world's ever seen. For a course, that means I'm always looking for the perfect shot. I wonder what scoop she was after this time. Although, I was also on the lookout for other stars that were here. So, maybe I wasn't here the entire time. Let's see. Um, do you know anything? I told you how many times now? I'm a journalist. I got so much info running laps in my head that I forgot things here and there. I got so much info running laps in my head that I forget things here and there. Please don't get so worked up over this. Ha! I don't care you beg me. Be extra tough on kids. That's this gal model and learning youngsters. And I just bought that camera. Who did it? The thieving rascal! Please don't look straight at me when you're saying that. When I find the bugger who went and done this, they're going to pay with a bullet. And if you do that, don't expect me to defend you. Lada, are you sure you weren't here in the entire time? So you could take a picture for your big scoop? Well, maybe I was, but that's what real journalists do. I got some juicy inside info, so I thought to myself, why not get a picture for proof? What kind of story was it you would hang around here? Okay, two psyche locks. Oops, <laughs> sorry, Mr. Lawyer. Can't be telling you that. Trade secret, you know. Not again, why does everyone have something to hide? <laughs> yeah, take that, Mr. Lawyer. I'm glad someone around here is happy. Miss Lada and your eye roll smile. Oh, boy. Now, now that I think about it, she isn't with y'all today, is she? Um, she's a spunky one. You should have been letting her out of your set. Who knows what she's up to now? Like you're one to talk. Uh, just want to say sorry to you. Boy. Well, I really absolutely thought you were the murderer. Huh? You know, last time that thing with my fae. What? Well, what? But why? I mean, you were all worked up, you know? Mimi. Lada, that was very insensitive of you. Uh, let's see. Let's see. This kind of hairstyle is pretty hard to get, you know? Hard to care for, too. Just the other day, I ran my hand through my hair to fix it up. And suddenly, out pops this dollar coin. That's gotta be like hitting the jackpot. Wow, that's really lucky. Oh, uh, what a deep conversation that was. Let's see. I don't really care for them heroes or whatnot. Oh, I see. And shows they got for kids, their adventures are plain old boring. Now, adults, we get more caught up in messy, sticky, real situations. Even me. Uh oh. Sounds like the type's getting what I'm going with this. But wait a second here. Don't go around getting your mix up and things like that. Uh, excuse me. This old granny? Ah, she kept on glaring at me with those eyes of hers. 
as is my fault. Keep babbling how she won't forget people will write trash about her wand. Oh yeah, we saw her go into a little fight, you know. A little fight? Knowing those two was probably more of a blabbering contest. Yeah, exactly. There's a piece of paper taped to the door that says Juan Carita's room. So that's seen the murder, I reckon. I thought something had gone on that night. But I didn't never think it was murder. I can understand flowers in front of the dressing rooms. But what are stuffed bears doing here? I did touch them! Wasn't me, I tell you! I'll give you my word! Why do I get the impression Lada helped herself to one of them? Compared to the flowers on the other side of the hall, these are much more gorgeous. Let's see. Record companies, fan clubs, company workers, family. Carrying all these flowers home would be hard, I think. Yeah, that's what I thought too. So, I was not nice enough gal to lend a helping hand. Let me just move the mic down just a little smidge. So I can at least see. Secretly, of course. I have a feeling one of these days I'm going to end up defending her in court. To Mr. On Guard from the Global Studio staff. Ah, uh, it'd be nice if Laura's got flowers too. Something like... To Mr. Wright, for all your grateful clients. From all your grateful clients. There's a piece of paper taped to the door that says, Matt on guard's room. So Mr. On guard was here during his break, right? That's what he claims. Hmm, the crime scene. If he had wanted to get to Mr. Carita's room, he would have had to pass through this hallway. There are toilets in each room of this hotel. But since all sorts of events are held here, there are bathrooms for people who aren't staying here to use as well. Perfect for people like me who can't afford to stay here in the first place. Let's visit Unguard's room. March 21st, Gatewater Hotel, Unguard's Hotel Room. Um, where are we? We're in Mr. Matt Ungar's dressing room. This is our client's room. May I help you with something? May I help you with something? Pleh. That's a girl's voice. May I help you with something? Um, uh, where? You're Mr. Ungar's lawyer, correct? I gathered as much. I also looked for lawyers on my end, but to no avail. Um, how did you know I'm his lawyer? You were just saying that he is your client. In a situation like this, the only person who would use such a word would be his lawyer. Wow! It's a simple deduction, really. The trial is tomorrow, and Mr. Ongar's situation is looking rather grim. So you came here, one stop in your mad dash, to find clues to build his case, correct? So you came here. One stop in your mad dash to find clues to build his case, correct? Well, you're not totally right, but you're not totally off either. It's really not the time to be showing up, Mr. Nick. I am Adrian Andrews. I hate to waste time, so let's get down to business. Uh, all right. She may be a small stature, but appearances can be deceiving. I assume the first thing you need to know is what everyone was doing that night, correct? Y yes that is correct. Then I will tell you. Before the award ceremony, I had dinner with Mr. Ungard. In this very room, I might add. Dinner? What did you eat? I told you I hate to waste time with trifling details. If you took a look at the table yourself, you wouldn't need to ask me. I bet she's a lot of fun at parties. When the award show was starting, I headed for Viola Hall. And after the show ended, you came back to his room? No, I had some small errands to run. I helped with the preparations in the lobby. Oh, preparations for the post-ceremony show, I guess. When it was time for the post-ceremony show, I came back to the call for Mr. On Guard. After that, I went to visit Mr. Carita. And that's when you found his body, isn't it? 
You really held strong through everything. Yeah, she does seem to be mentally tough as nails. Um, so, about you and... Stop right there. You aren't seriously about to ask how Mr. Ungard and I are related, are you? Sorry. I have no idea how he could choose you. I have no idea how he could chose you as his lawyer. Why does she have to go and say something like that? Mr. Nick, calm down and hang in there. I'll give you a shoulder rub to relieve your stress later, alright? I already gave you my name earlier, but I'll add that I'm Mr. Hengar's manager. His manager? Speaking of managers, did the victim, Mr. Karita, have one? No, he did not. He didn't? Global Studios has a very different policy from Worldwide Studios in that Worldwide Studios does not assign individual managers to their stars. I see. This industry is very ruthless and unforgiving. Actually, you look quite ruthless and unforgiving yourself to your poor partner. Dragging a little girl like her to places like this, honestly. You're wrong! I've been doing this to help Mr. Maya! Girls, calm down and hang in there. I'll buy you a juice later, alright? Um, I'd like to ask you about this. I told you, I hate trifling matters. It's a waste of time to show me things that are no relevance to me. Wow. This is the first time I've been shut down this badly. You are the one taking care of the arrangements for this press conference, right? Yes, that's right. But Mr. Ungard said he didn't know about it. Is that what he said? Huh? Actually, I didn't know all the details either. It was a request from the publicity department. All I did was help out and do what, what I was asked. Oh, I see. I wonder about that. It wouldn't take her to be a type of person to do something without knowing the details. That's Mr. Will Powers. He's an actor contracted with Global Studios. He's a very nice man, a man with a good heart. But that's all he is and never will be. Ugh, what a horrible thing to say. Society doesn't care about genuinely nice people, Mr. Wright. Huh? For a second, her face twisted in pain. I wonder if something... I wonder if something happened to Miss Andrews. Did you know about the victim, Mr. Karita? Yes, I knew him. The world is such a small place, after all. Did you know about his rivalry with the Nickel Samurai? Honestly, they were like children when it came to that. Time and time again, those two competed with each other over the most trivial things. If either one of them wasn't so stubborn, then maybe no one would have needed to die. <gasps> I've got a hunch that this woman knows more than she's letting on. She must know why Juan Karita was killed. I've asked to be I asked to become Mr. Ungar's manager. He's a pleasure to manage with his nice disposition. Hmm. Mr. Ungar does seem like a rather weak old man, always doing as he's told. He's always saying my manager, right, Mr. Nick? I hate talking about myself. It's a trifling matter, that's why. Sorry. Take away that layer of sarcasm and she really does seem to hate herself. Let's see. It's probably Mr. Ingard's suitcase. For someone who is only going to be here for the award show, this is a lot of stuff. Looks like he has about three days worth of clothes in here. Stars really are different from us, aren't they? There's some samurai-looking clothes on the sofa here. 
Um, I think my jacket looking thing is called a happy. Whatever it is, I'm sure something like that would make a great souvenir. Mine would be absolutely thrilled. Alright. We're gonna continue investigating in the next part of Mr. Ongar's hotel room and continuing on investigation. So this has been Agent Fluffy and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Hey everyone, Agent Fluffy here and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you want to support me even more, feel free to support my Patreon. The links are right here.